Peace of the family. This is Brother Blight. Phone's on the charger, but I got to take it off periodically. And I'm reporting to you live from Miami, Florida. And I just wanted to talk to you all about mastering metaphysics for the purposes of making money. So let me say this while you guys get into the room, because this is going to be very brief, because I'm getting ready for the boat party. For those of you that have been keeping up with me, I did the mega club hopping on Friday for my supporters. Anybody who support me, rock out with me. Left with them, plus the people who already rock with me out here in Miami. And then I did the condo party, okay? So in this crib, y'all got to understand, we got a bowling alley, we got a tennis court, <laughs> we got a whole bunch of stuff, you know, bowling alley, tennis court, virtual golf, foosball, arcades, this whole bunch of our own movie theater built in. You know, so I got the private movie theater. And of course, I got this spot right here. So this shit is fire. It's on tilt. So today is the boat party. I just got to do some cleaning up. I'm going to take you over there. Got to do some cleaning up because the condo party was on tilt last night. We made it happen. Uh, for the master course, let me just tell y'all this. For the master course, we're going to pick it up. My apologies from all the traveling and making moves, plus I had to deal with issues in the Bahamas because, you know, I got a family that's out there, uh, some of which didn't make it, so that was a whole nother situation. Nonetheless, we back to our regularly scheduled program. We got everything in motion to help our people there, and what I'm going to do, I'm allocating funds towards this course and the courses to come towards the restoration process of the Bahamas, just as a contribution. You know, I'm not doing no go for me's or nothing. I'm doing what I do from what I do, and I'll allocate the resources from what I generate revenue-wise. So that's what we're doing with that. Um, I'm about to be in the process of cleaning. Might have y'all even watch that, <laughs> right? But the master course will be back in session this coming Sunday. And what we're going to do, and I didn't like the final edit to the, to the third session I did. I didn't like the final edit. This third session on... Sunday of next week, you're going to get, I'm going to be sending you out, you know, I always send you PDFs, but this time I'm sending you the templates of the actual letters to send to the credit bureaus to get the stuff stricken off your record. That's a fact. So you probably owe $30,000 on your credit, something to that effect. I'm going to give you the letters and show you where to mail them to and what it should say. And it's going to be more than one credit letter to send to the different credit bureaus. If they don't respond, it's a $30,000 fine. They have to respond. They always respond. And I'll show you the strategies the more times than less get things removed off your credit report. In addition to other things, but that's the main highlight of this Sunday's course. It's going to be phenomenal. I'm going to also show you how to get larger lines of credit um, afforded to you by way of credit cards or business loans. So we're going to be doing that this Sunday. If you didn't get the master course, you'll we sent the previous two classes, it's six classes in all, six classes in all, but this third class is going to be hitting that credit. So those of you that that makes sense to, class number three by itself may be just what you need for those of y'all that this makes sense to. Don't forget me, I'm just waking up. Uh, I, I slept for about an hour and a half. About to make it happen again, celebrating life. And I feel good because I'm able to share this type of information to the people. So remember, you hit me at brother, P O L I G H T 45 at gmail.com. Always leave your full name, your phone number if you're ready to purchase the master course. It's $200. It's supposed to be more. And we'll get it in. And for those of you that's already in the course, Sunday, next Sunday, we're back in action. And I promise you, the information that you get. You'll be like, yo, well worth the wait, P. Well worth the wait. These are all facts. We're going to turn up at the boat party. I'm going to make sure y'all get that. But I got footage throughout the whole week of how we do it. But this is about metaphysics. I envision myself living a certain lifestyle that no one else could see. And now the time has come where I'm actually living in that present day, living in that moment. So we realize I'm not materialistic. I materialize my conceptions. So it's not about materialism, it's about materialization. When you're living in something that you conceive, that others even doubted, and then one day you're actually living in it, that's materialization. That's the highest form of spirituality. 
So anybody that's talking all the astrology stuff and the numerology, they can read your foot, they can read your hands. If they got all this knowledge of the stars and they know how to connect you with different people in relationships, they know who's good for you, who's not good for you, who's about to come into your life. If they know all of that, you have to find a way to manipulate that information at one point or the other to enhance the quality of your lifestyle. Facts. 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 Watch this. Hold on. Oh, let me show y'all some dope stuff. But yeah, the party was on tilt. The party was on tilt. So you see, when you come through, the second you come through, it's the elevator to the crib, you heard? Oh, I should press this. This is the elevator to the crib. It takes you straight to the room. <laughs> takes you straight to the room. How about that? Look at this, the director's chair. How about that? Oh my goodness. How about that? Hmm? Crazy, right? Brother, P-O-L-I-G-H-T, 45, at gmail.com. You leave your full name, your phone number. If you leave any one of those out, it may not be responded in real time based on the order of people that are responding. You gotta forgive it, because when you're on this high-ass floor, you know, the elevator travels very fast, but still takes some time nonetheless. But come on, it's a movie. I figured the second you come to the crib, it's a movie, so we need to have this whole ambiance, this whole step. Look at that. <laughs> Talk about this. Now watch this. Watch this. Boom. Look at this. Tennis courts, pools, and wellness level. Yeah, we got our own juice bar and everything. Bowling and game rooms. Got a bowling alley. It doesn't say movie theater, but we also got a movie theater. You just call them. They get everything together. You bring your people and you watch your movies. It could be Netflix, it could be whatever. Connect your laptop if you choose, it doesn't matter. You run the theater. So you feel what I'm saying? This shit is crazy. It's not a game. We in Miami. Oh, boom. The second you come to the crib, look at that. Action. <laughs> Yo, you got to have fun when you when you put the cribs and stuff together. You feel me? You got to have fun when you put it together. I just said what's up with the master course. So just play the video back. If you're missing the master course information, play the video back. I'll revisit it one more time. So, yeah, we had the condo party yesterday. That came after the actual going to the clubs. And anybody that's out here would tell you, I mobbed out with like 30 people. It was like uh, 24, 25 women. Me. And a few confidants. Yeah, it's crazy. I actually started cleaning up, believe it or not. I ain't even on the bougie stuff today. Not even on it. But yeah, you know copper, right? See, a lot of y'all don't realize when you get copper sets, copper set be costing like three bands to buy copper because it maintains the integrity of the actual alkalinity of the foods if you're cooking copper pots and pans and stuff. So I got a whole copper set lit. We got to get the inventory up. Now, I don't really deal with all this poison, but people do. I don't judge them. The reason why I'm able to teach people is because I don't judge them. And I have my times when I play, I rock out, and I let them do what they do. They smoke their weed. They drink their drinks. I can't really have nobody around me doing no coke lines and stuff. That's just going too far. I let people rock and do what they do, but I can't. I can only let people do but so much. Well, ultimately, when it's time to teach, it's time to teach. And then other times, you just got to let people do their thing. And then they respect you for that, and they actually hawk into your call. They, they have a listening ear. So you just got to do what you do. Yeah, I'm not with all of that lean shit and all that. I, I don't want that type of energy around me. I don't even really like people just smoking in general or even drinking a lot of times. But I get it. Now, I, I like the tequila now because tequila is made from grass. And it's burnt. It's cooked. Extreme heat. It's pretty dope. And then, you know, 
I like fancy shit. I like champagne and all that. But again, I I don't really need that. Well, I'm not gonna say I don't really need it. I don't need it to celebrate nothing. Cause my frequency is higher than that. But because that's the vibe and the spirit people would be in, and I get it, it give you a little effect and everything. But they an effect that I can't create mentally. Void of the vices that people consume and abuse. But like I said, I don't I don't spend my time to beat people in the head for all of that. I'm not gonna beat somebody in the head. If you wanna do your thing and we doing our thing and that's how you party is cool. Floyd be the same way. Floyd don't be drinking and smoking. But Floyd will cop all that stuff and make sure everybody has their good time and they just understand. Don't smoke around him. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Because he don't like people smoking around him. You'd be surprised, man. The people you judge the most, they got greater principles and morals than a lot of them, than the rest of them. Yeah, man. You know, to do my early morning, early a.m. calisthenics and get to the bag. Going to be cleaning this stuff up, though. Got to clean this stuff up. Feeling good, though. Feeling great. I'm blessed. Skin is very important. You know, there's little to no stress. The only stress I got is making sure we get to the boat on time. Call time supposed to be for 1230. You know, my man, Corzo, who I got rocking out with me to make sure we on time. Because he was turning up. <laughs> He's the captain of the ship, so we waiting on Corzo. He's my dude, you know. I'm talking about the real deal. We talking about owning the boats like, and, and doing what we do at our disposal at our leisure. So this is a call out today, too. If you're in the Miami area, you want to rock with me. 12, 30, 1 o'clock. I push it to 1 if somebody's running behind. But um, link up with us, South Beach. Just inbox me or DM me. You want to rock out. You support me, I support you. That's what I've been doing all week. Anybody that's a supporter of me, if they DM me or inbox me, say, yo, polite, I'm in town, I let them pull up. That's a fact. I let them pull up. support me, I support you. Facts. You come celebrate with me. I'm still celebrating my birthday. I be celebrating my birthday straight into Scorpio season. I told you how I do. Normally, I'm in and out the country flying around. So this year, I said, I'm going to really take advantage of what we have at our disposal because human beings have a tendency to always want to go away from what they have and your resources are already there. It's the same way when it comes to making money. A lot of times you think, oh, if I have this much money, then I can do that. But a lot of times, the fact of the matter is, you are your greatest resource. You already have the talent to connect yourself with others, network with others, find investors, and things of that nature. We, we always look to go further than what is needed or necessary to achieve our goals. You know, people want to gain spirituality, and they feel they got to pray to something outside of themselves. But the reality is, it exists in you. So we normally look for our resources, whether it's the party, whether it's to invest, whether it's for spirituality. We normally go further than need be to achieve our goals, and that's unnecessary. Hey, I, thank you, man. I turned 36. It's a blessing to even get that type of compliment, man. And this is my morning face, man. I woke up like this. <laughs> Beyonce told me. I woke up like this. This is my morning face. You feel me? Huh? Look at this. We got we to gotta throw all this trash away, man. Hold on. We got we gotta get rid of all this stuff. Yeah, we had the fight party yesterday. That shit was on tilt. The copper. Look at that. We on our we on our bartender shit. Bartender joint. What happened with Eric Muhammad? Yeah, we were barbecuing downstairs yesterday too. We brought that up. You know, it's the fridge. <laughs> yeah, we got the Heineken and all that. All the shit in there. It's the fridge. Just looks like, just looks like, um, forget the camera, just looks like it's furniture, you know how that go. 
And those of you who just came by, we was just talking about how it's dope. Have an elevator take you straight to your room. And the second you come in, I'm telling you, it's a movie. We come a long way to get to this point. And you know, I live in LA, but I also live in Miami. I rent out condos here in Miami. Yeah, this is this is like this is people people brought gifts. People brought gifts for the event. You know, it's it's hotep. Hotep means offering. And that's brought about offerings bring about peace. So a lot of times a lot of times when people are talking about hotep means peace, it's the peace that's brought about through offering. That's why it's showed as a table, just like this. You see a table. Just like you see a table right here. It's the hieroglyphic for Hotep is the table with bread on it. And it was customary for bread to be seen as a sign of a gift. If I had nothing else, I could give you something that's nutritious or filling. So Hotep means offering. So at the very least, if I came to somebody's home, I would bring something to them. And that which I brought was a peace offering. It's an offering that precipitated peace or let you know uh, I, I come to add value to you, not to subtract. And so when people come through, I don't really commission people to bring something, but a lot of people got that incentive. So even you come to the boat today, bring something. But at the very least, if you're running out of time and you got to rush, bring your happy energy and positive spirit because that, that in itself is good. Like they poison, man. When I'm throwing the party, you know, they give them they poison. That's what they like. Ain't nothing wrong. Everybody got their vices, you know. And I feel like you're joking, so I ain't tripping. But everybody got their vices. So let me tell you this. Oh, uh, everybody got their vices, right? So let me tell you this. Some of you may go to the movies a whole lot. The time you go into the movies or watching sports, you could have been reading a book elevating yourself you feel me some of you like your coffee some of you like to smoke your weed some of you like your your alcohol so there's things on planet earth that are not necessary for us right but we all indulge in certain things so we just move in moderation and hopefully that what you indulge in in moderation isn't i'm not going to tell you to coke in moderation <laughs> yeah. so hopefully what you are indulging in yeah i know uh, look as far as eric muhammad is concerned let me explain something to you. You know, a lot of my following, a lot of my supporters was like, yo, Pete, this guy has two, three people in there. He's being rude and disrespectful. He's looking for attention. He's bragging about how much people is going to pay attention to him once you do the debate. And I wanted to do it just to deal with the information. I, I'm so passionate about the information. It really don't matter who they put in front of me. I know I'm going to knock them down because it's, it's something I'm passionate about and I'm qualified to speak on as far as Islam is concerned. I already, I already knocked down these Islamic cats several times over. But in this particular instance, in breaking down the sciences of Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad and so forth and so on, I, you know, I wanted to do it on strength, plus people's disrespect for Dr. Sabi. I want to smoke, but at the same rate, son is entirely too disrespectful. And he's talking in front of two, three people and that's like a donation for me to him. And if I'm gonna donate to somebody, at least respect me. That's how I'm feeling. Anything I do for him is a donation. Responding to him saying his name is a donation. Somebody go look him up. Who's Eric Muhammad? Cause a lot of you don't even know who he is right now. Cause that's never the subject of conversation when I do my thing. If I was supposed to do a debate semi-technically, I was asking people online, should I come out of retirement? I'm like, yo, I'm feeling like I'm coming out of retirement. But you know, the way he carries himself, his demeanor, I mean, I like the, the volatility and the, the drama, but he don't bring nothing to the table. He don't bring people to the table. He don't bring a large audience to the table. So yet again, it's me coming with everybody and another person within there earn the right to be established or identified. That's what brand wise is concerned. I'm drawing all this attention. So between him and I doing our thing, yo, I would like the other party to have a pull as well. I said this years ago and I, I thought about it. I was, I was itchy, I had the itch. Because, you know, I'm retired. I'm chilling. I done made my bread. 
I done proved my points. I'm celebrated and acknowledged for the points that I've proven throughout the years. I have uh, amazing people on every level of every status that appreciate what I've contributed. You know, so I've been on CNN, I've been on Fox, I done got keys to the city, awards in Ohio for my philanthropy, and feeding the homeless using gang members to do so, the vegan revolution at that, feeding them vegan food. You know, I've been in a lot of places. I'm opening up a restaurant in Dubai. I've been flying back and forth there to Dubai from here in Miami. Um, the people that were or in all my favorite people in sports, music, and entertainment are also fans of mine. One, one of which, for example, would be Floyd Mayweather. That's my fucking homie, man, and he's family. But I'm a huge fan of the brother, and the fact that he support me and and be rocking the teachings when I be building with him, he be dropping what I said verbatim. Like yo, he he like when I break down uh, the full spectrum of light, solidified as melanin, and you know, uh, you know, just all just all the science, prison, prism, how they want to trap our light body, put it in a prism, it's like a prison, and then they want to drain your energy so to charge you for a crime, like a Dora cell, so they put you in a cell, Dora cell, battery. If I was rapping, man, that shit, I, my schemes would be crazy. It, you feel what I'm saying? They charge you for a crime. Might even get locked up for assault and battery. <laughs> It's crazy, man. It's all crazy. It's about draining our energy, man. It's about draining our energy, but it is what it is. But anyway, you know, I'm, I still be feeling the weight. I still want to get it in because I just love the sport. But I would rather somebody who's taking the time out to master their craft. So it would be two people who spent a great deal of time not only mastering their craft, but being effective at drawing people's attention towards the sciences that they study. So when we bring it together, it's a huge event of great proportions. And in that way, it's even more enticing for people to learn, you know? And I mean, you just gotta say it. So I, people ain't gonna like this, but I'm making incredibly too much money to be dealing with somebody on some weak stuff, man. I need, I need them to come out and really put their pain in. So when we put an event together, we could both sit down as bosses and be like, yo, let's let's treat the people to something very special. Let's treat them to something. Let's put it somewhere where it's amazing. Let's get an amazing venue and let's really level it up and, and bring this to commercial attention that it needs because some people will only find it through the commercial, not through the grassroots. So I just got a different vision for this information. And I had that vision for a while, but I realized a lot of people are not down with that type of vision. A lot of people see themselves as small or incapable in the conscious community. So I did what I did with my brand and look where I'm at. You feel me? I just, I'm here to show you that it can be done. My greatest donation is my success. And that's why when someone asks, yo, what is it that we got to do to empower, uplift our people? To empower and uplift our people, the greatest thing I could ever commission you to do is to be an individual success. To show people that come from where you come from, that it can be done. Because without that, there'd be no impetus, no drive, no motivation to get to step two or phase three. Facts. Oh yeah, I, yeah, Floyd teach, Floyd taught me a lot of stuff too. Floyd, I mean, anybody can teach you, but I, I definitely learned a great deal. When you're around somebody who's made about a billion dollars in career earnings, in 36 minutes, managed to make over 300 million. And another 36 minutes, managed to make over uh, uh, 250 million, a quarter billion dollars. Between two fights, half a billion plus. Every fight for six fights straight on a deal uh, with a major TV network, over 30 million each fight, not counting door and pay per view and everything. Yo, listen, that person's lifestyle is going to afford them the opportunity to get information that only experience can give you. And when you break bread and you rub shoulders with those people, they will impart wisdom on you from time to time, whether it be about investments or just so certain social experiences and circumstances or undertakings that you will be confronted with eventually one day. Facts. 
So it happens. Yeah, I learned a lot traveling with Floyd to Japan and uh, Dubai and all those places. And I mean, it's amazing. And even throughout the states of Miami and New York and Las Vegas and California, wherever, Texas. Yo, it's been a blessing. You know what I'm saying? I learned a lot being around Puffy, being at his crib and just seeing how, how he organized his social events. I, t I took a page out of his book for the condo party that I did this weekend. I literally seen things that Puff did when going to his crib, okay? Um, I, I seen things in his approach. You had Ty Dollar and Usher there one day, we all chilling. And I, I seen how he was a host at his place. And even though he has people helping him out, I just see the way he carry himself and his demeanor when he's conducting himself, when he's throwing his parties. And even though it's a party, the optics tell you it's a party, it's, it's still a certain level of business transpiring. You know, it's you adding value to other people's life and experience, maybe lowering the stress factor down, but you're able to leverage that time spent amongst each other and create viable opportunities for yourself and them later on. It's powerful. It's extremely powerful. Extremely powerful. All right. I just learned from people. Learned from Meta. Meta World Peace taught me a lot. You know, rocking out with Serena Williams, going to uh, her, her sport events at Stanford in Northern California. And I'm chanting the black woman is God, and she's over there laughing and shit. You know, and then um, blessing my baby girl, writing on the wall, you know, going backstage, get the additional love and support, and just letting her know we in a corner. And, and like I said, that, that did a lot for my daughter when she was young. So it just teaches you how to, your effect on people when people look up to you and they, they walk in with you. That extra incentive to show them love. Like when Serena wrote on my daughter's tennis ball, she gave my daughter a tennis ball at the end of the game and wrote on it. And then, you know, we got to go back there and hang out and stuff. And also for Venus uh, championship game, my daughter met at, she was able to do the coin toss. So all of that is wow, you know, and I'm blessed to be able to have these experiences, but more especially to leverage my scenario and, pardon me, phone box that, leverage leverage what I'm doing and get it in. Facts. Leverage what I got going on and create viable and prosperous opportunities for my children. That's where it's really impactful, man. To have a network with people that are still relevant and powerful enough that it could impact your children's future. And my daughter's never been the same from all the experiences. She, she loves boxing, and her favorite boxer ever is Floyd. She watches it, she's not a casual fan. She could talk about rehydration clauses and everything. My daughter don't play games with boxing. She really loves it. And so it's great that she could say, man, daddy knows this person. I get a, some pointers from here, uh, from this person here and there. It's a beautiful thing. So, you know, more of the story is, no matter who tells you it can't be done, if you saw it up here, you already did that. <laughs> it's a fact. You already did that. You already did it. it. You can't tell me it can't be done if I seen it. Where would I get the ability to conceive or conceptualize? How was I able to take components from the universe and construct this idea if it wasn't even possible for it to make, be made manifest in the real world? Or the alleged real world, because I feel like what's up here is real, and out here is the illusion. This is where you start playing around and playing the jigsaw puzzle shit. This is the real world. I spend 95% of my time up here. That's why I call this real estate. You should never let no one foreclose on your mind. I have a lot of real estate up here. And when I debate, I make sure I embark upon the acquisition of other people's real estate. I get all in their head, and I foreclose on their mind. I ain't playing around. I ain't playing around. But yeah, people, that bill was longer than I planned.
guests. Uh, so again, this Sunday, next Sunday, we back on session three. I didn't like the edits for the previous session, all that other stuff. But this coming Sunday, not this Sunday, because the boat party's today. Next Sunday, um, you will have the documents. I should be sending it out Wednesday. Oh, uh, what to send to the credit bureaus to move those negative things off your report. I'm going to go through the instructions for the coming Sunday. I may have one of my mentees involved, I know business partner in the process for that Sunday's course, but I guarantee you, you guys are going to be removing stuff off your credit. And remember, credit is a form of a class system. Then everyone says class systems are bad, but then people like credit. And credit is a form of class system because credit gives you privilege. So some people are more privy to things in society than other people based on their score. So it's a very covert way to employ a class system in society. And so 